Hi, today we're going to have a blast. It's our son's birthday today, and so we asked him what he wanted for his birthday dinner, and he wanted shepherd's pie. So we're going to make shepherd's pie in the Dutch oven. I'm going to use my 12-inch Dutch oven, but I thought I'd show you the ingredients and, and what we're going to use to make this. But uh, in the 12-inch Dutch oven, I have two pounds of Angus ground beef here, one yellow onion, uh, two cans of green beans here, a uh, large can of cream of mushroom soup, uh, some potatoes, we're going to use about 10 potatoes, and then uh, some cheddar cheese, and that's it. We, there's about three different steps to build it, get it all in the Dutch oven, and then we're just going to cook it, and it's going to turn out awesome. Got some nice cupcakes going here. It smells awesome in the kitchen, but uh, we'll be back when we're ready to get this, get this dish going. Okay, we're ready to get this going. It's going to be a little stormy, so I'm utilizing my cooking table here made by Camp Chef. In case it starts raining, we can pull it under some cover. But let me show you. I cooked the hamburger and the onions in the house just to make it a little easier. But this is the two pounds of ground beef in there, like that. And then, then I have two cans of the beans. We're just going to put the beans in here. Like so. Kind of spread those out a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. And then what we're going to do is I have a, a large can of the cream of mushroom soup. I like to pour it in a bowl. So you can do this or just the two of the small cans. We're making two because we're partying today. So put that in here. So I made a second one so I have so you want to do uh, two cans of soup and one can of milk. And look I slopped right there on the table. The birds will probably like that. Then just whisk this up. Nice so it's all creamy. Got my briquettes going there. Looks like they're doing pretty good. Yeah, see how that's nice and creamy? That's awesome. Then you just pour this over. Yummy. Kind of stir that around like so. And then next, we have uh, the 10 potatoes that are mashed. I used about a half a cube of butter and just put some salt in there, or not salt, <laughs> milk to get it where it was nice and good. But I left the, the skins on, just kind of cut off the bad portions of the potato, because I think it looks cool with those skin colors on there. Should have got a bigger spoon, but this is good. We can talk a little more. So this is, what we're gonna do is, I'm cooking two of these. But we cook this at uh, 350 degrees. We're gonna cook this for 30 minutes. That's just enough to get this warmed up good, get the soup bubbling in there good. And then we're gonna put a little cheese on top. Then we'll just cook it for 10 more minutes. And we'll be good to go. So let's do that. Trying to make that look good. Yeah, look at that pie. Potatoes. So let's get the lid on. So like I said, 350 hot. With the 12 inch Dutch oven, you want 10 on the bottom. 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, that was 11. Let's scoot that over for our second Dutch oven. Just kind of arrange these on here. Like so. Set that on there. And we want 14 on top. Seven, three, seven, okay. 
stool. So there's 14 on top, 10 on the bottom. We'll let it go 30 minutes. I'll get my other one going right there. And look, there's rain coming down. So we might be scooting it over there under the umbrella. But let this go and we'll see you back. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. So let's check and see how this is going. It's starting to rain. It just started to rain like two minutes ago. And look at that, that's steaming up good but it's getting wet. Mm -hmm. Look at that bubbling. Let's, uh, let me, I guess a little rainwater didn't hurt anybody. So I think we'll get this cheesed up. So the next step is we just grated up some cheddar cheese here. We'll just kind of do this. And then I'm gonna move the Dutch ovens <laughs> out of this rain. It feels good though. Nice and refreshing. Get that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Did you see all those bubbles down in there? You got that? Okay. Let's get, get the cheese on this one. Awesome. Go like this. Yeah, it's coming down good. Okay, there you have it. So we'll let it cook for like 10 minutes in the cheese and we should be good to go. So we'll see you back. Okay, we're ready. It's raining like crazy. So we pulled these Dutch ovens under the under the patio here. But look at that. That is sweet. Just dish some of this up. We have some spinach salad on the side here. Look at that. That smells awesome. Look, it's all bubbly down in there. That's hot on my hand. So there you have it, shepherd's pie. Make your own recipe, change up the veggie, change up the meat. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you next time.